your global quantization setting will affect different aspects of Ableton's behavior. For this lesson I will go zooming onto 133 to allow you to have a better view of my work. Every clip, once you clicked on it, reveal its parameter box on the left hand side. On the very bottom left corner you'll find the L icon L for launch. Click on this icon to open the launch parameter box. As a default Ableton will load any clip on trigger mode like so. In trigger mode a clip will be launched when clicking on the launch icon and as soon as you click again it launches itself back from the start. But you see, the click hangs a little bit. The clip is following the global quantization. On a shorter global quantization, the clip can be started very often. The second mode is the gate mode. In gate mode, you can click on the clip launch icon. If you release the launch icon, it stops playing. Like so. Release. Like so and release. The third mode is the toggle mode. Click the first time to start the clip, click a second time to stop it and click and click. And finally the fourth mode is the repeat mode. Click and hold the launch icon and the clip will repeat itself according to the global quantization with a higher global quantization The clip so far was following the global quantization because its own quantization is set to global here. You can give each clip its own quantization. This is set in the preferences. You can determine what default launch mode Ableton is going to load the tracks as. Trigger, gate, toggle or repeat. And also the default launch quantization. Are the clips going to follow the global quantization as you load them in, or are they going to be loaded following their own quantization? To demonstrate the legato switch, I need another clip. These two clips are both 8 bar long. I'm going to set the second clip to loop over 8 bars. There you go, they're both 8 bar long. If I click them one after the other, they will start back from their starting point. Every time I click onto a clip, it starts from its beginning point. Like so. Set both these clips on legato. And now, they will complete each other's timeline. When I start the second clip, it actually starts where the first one was. Right there. Right there. And again. You see the clip doesn't go back to the beginning, it starts back wherever the last clip played from. This is a legato mode. Now the way you trigger clips can be affected by how hard you press your controller. We'll learn everything about controllers very soon. If your controller is velocity sensitive, then you'll be able to send stronger signals to trigger the clips. And this will affect the volume at which the clip is playing back. 